Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I got something special to review. This is this is a Spanish playing card. I found this at a Walgreens and it's very unusual to find this at a Walgreens. This is the first time I see something like this at a Walgreens and it was around $1.99 I believe something like that plus tax which are really cheap. Um, these are Spanish playing cards from Spain as far as my understanding is and I believe Mexico and some other South America countries they like to play with this type of cards and there's a specific game with it and also they like to read people's future with these cards so it's kind of mystical and at the same time time magical and at the same time witchery <laughs> I don't know it's up to you to know <laughs> what it's all about but um, I'm gonna open it and we can check it out it's still sealed and this is how it looks on the front and this is how it looks on the side it says Don Manolo and then this is how it looks here like that actually you know what all right so I took the seal off and as you can see it's a very nice um, box it's, it's not that bad for being you know something special I guess so this is how it looks on the front this is how it looks on the sides it says Don Manolo then you got then you got the upper part that says made in China so this is the other side of the box and it says made in China and these were printed in 2010 and it's uh, from a company called the United States Playing Card Company it's a subsidiary of Jordan Corporation and da 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 da, da. now this is the backing of the box I really when I got this at uh, the store um, sorry for the glare really like the backing because it's kind of very similar to the tally hose. It's not completely a tally hose, of course, but it's very similar and I really like that. So excuse my background. I decided to take out my Magic the Gathering uh, mat because uh, it's the timing right now. I don't have good lighting, so I had to put artificial light. So the only way I can show you without having a black background which is the one I usually show you stuff is not gonna look too good with the artificial light so I decided to take this out again I usually uh, at the a the last videos that I was doing for magic or reviewing cards I was using this mat is really good um, to use your cards okay so I, I think I need to get like a black completely black one I like this one though. Just give me your opinion about it. Leave a comment down below and let me know. All right, so let's keep on doing the unboxing of these cards. Okay, so I'm gonna put the box on the side and these are the cards which are very nice. Now these are made out of paper, All right, so this is how they look on the back. I hope the glare doesn't bother you too much. Very nice printing. I really like this kind of like medallion in the middle. It's a navy blue. Very nice coloring. And uh, I really don't know too much. I remember I used to play this type of cards when I was a kid. But I don't remember how was the game though. Um, we had like Spanish people uh, coming home like every weekend or so and they used to bring these cards and we always gather and play but I really don't remember that was a long time ago I really don't remember how you use these cards these are like coins and everything on the writing it's in Spanish so it looks like they're numbered like one two three and then you got four coins actually I'm gonna put this on top all right so you have an idea four okay let me put it right here four then five six coins um 
seven coins and then you got like this sticks they look like sticks to me but i'm not sure what that is maybe a fruit or something i don't know maybe if you know about these cards let me know and give me your opinion about those number six then this guy over here this number 10 he's holding a coin and then you got a horse with that guy it looks like a prince or something it's number 11 number 12 is a king the coloring is very nice by the way um, and they're kind of thin they're very thin cards and uh, you can see the backing again they're all the same uh, this is like a I don't know what is this but like a glass it has a diamond on the top of the glass that's pretty neat then you got two three four you got seven of these they look like Somebody move them out of order. Five, six, seven of these again. Oh no. I guess that's the numbering how they go. Ten. Another guy in the horse is eleven. Another king. This is a blade. Uh, kinda. Yeah. And then this guy with that thing, which is like a stick or. A, I don't know what in the world is that. Okay. Two blades. Three blades, four blades, five blades, six, seven. Another guy with another blade, which is ten. The horse with this guy with the thing there. A king. Those things that look like a stick from a tree or something like that. And the numbering is weird. It's kind of like jumping from one thing to another. Now, I gotta tell you though, these are not for fanning or anything like that, even though they fan, sort of kind of cool. Um, I guess you can dribble and kind of like mix them a little bit. I know you, you can also kind of like, uh, let's see if we can shuffle them, which obviously these are cards so they have to shuffle. Right? Yep, they shuffle very well. And they do because they're very thin. And that's the reason why I think they shuffle very well. Um, I don't know what else can I do. Just show you a little bit of shuffling. Uh, let's see if I can find them like this. And then they're not for fanning purposes, but I was just trying to see. Just curious. <laughs> But overall, they seem very well. I like, like I said, I like the backing. And I must probably have to watch a video about these cards and how to play a game with them because I have no clue. Even though I did play the game when I was a kid, I have no clue how you play it. So, but I thought it would be interesting to show you something like this. This is something different. Um, not every card collector used to show you this type of cards because I guess they're not into it or they don't know about it. Um, but overall guys, this is a nice deck of cards to play uh, Spanish uh, playing cards. It looks like the Spanish decks you can use for divination. You can also use them for fortune telling cards. Like I said, um, somebody can read the fortune of your life through these cards. I don't know how to use that. It's sort of like a tarot playing cards. And also there is a variation of different games that you can play with these cards. So overall guys, I think this is great. I guess I'm going to have to learn how to play with them again and uh, give you a buzz on how you play this you play with this card yeah it happens that I was talking last night with a friend and uh, they talked to me about this and I knew exactly what they were talking about because of um, the way they were speaking about this specific cards so I guess it was a coincidence when I went out today because I was going to buy some other 
cards um, to review and I found this deck so to be quite honest with you I'm glad I found them like I said this is very rare to find uh, especially on a Walgreens but I did find them and um, I hope you like my little review about this cards and if you want to see more reviews please do let me know hopefully I can get more cards and show you which I do have more but thanks so much for watching uh, you know what to do subscribe to see more of these cards let me know if you have something in particular that you want me to review when it comes to deck of cards and um, I'll try to do my best thank you so much for watching goodbye Thank you.